Hey guys, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for another TechWizKid24 video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get by or bypass any Windows password protected machine. Uh, this may come in handy if you haven't used your PC in a while and you don't remember your password, or if you just want to pull a quick trick on some friends uh, that have their, com their PCs completely locked down and you don't want them to know or you don't know their password. Uh, this tutorial does require you make some preparation beforehand and you will need a computer with internet access and a blank CD or DVD uh, that you can burn to and also boot from. I'll be linking directly to the tools, all the tools I use right in this video as usual in the description box. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is just open up the link I have in this video's description box and download the .iso file uh, from the post. Uh, this file is already a bootable ISO, and all we have to do is burn the image to a blank CD or DVD. I can use a great program called Image Burn to make the CD. Uh, it's a very lightweight program. It's non-intrusive, and it's very easy to use. So after you download that, uh, you just pretty much download Image Burn as well. I'll just be linking directly to that. And you just boot that up really quick. And you're just going to be given uh, these few options here. Uh, we're just going to go right image file to disk. And as you can see here, under the source section, uh, just click on this little folder to the right that says browse for a file and you pretty much just browse right to wherever you saved it uh, mine is saved right on my desktop so I'll just click on that and click open and down here in the destination just going to select where you actually where your blank DVD or CD is in your one of your drives you make sure that's inserted at this point and it's ready to go uh, I am on a virtual machine right now so I don't actually have any burners I actually have it just as a virtual drive so I can actually boot from it uh, but pretty much this uh, little infographic down here uh, will turn uh, the colors, it will turn red, and uh, we can actually uh, burn it. You'll see a little progress bar, and you pretty much your drive will open when the CD is all set and ready to go. And then you can just take that to whichever computer uh, you need to get into, and then you can go from there. So as you can see here, I'm actually locked out of my computer. Um, I don't know the password. I'm panicking. My papers due tomorrow. I just need to get in there, get those papers out, or you know, I just want to pull a quick prank on my friends. I only have a couple seconds. I don't want them to know I was able to get into the computer. Um, so what you're going to do is just make sure that your com boot CD is inside the drive, and just restart your computer and boot from it. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you really quickly. One of them is actually just changing the BIOS options. Um, so when your computer is starting up, as you can just see there. I just pretty much just hit F2. That's usually the case with most PCs. It's either F2, F10, or delete that I've, you know, remember that I can see. Uh, depends on the manufacturer. Um, but once you're in there, you're just going to make sure, uh, go over to the boot tab. Most of them are pretty similar. Uh, if you have a Phoenix, Phoenix BIOS like this, uh, they're going to be pretty similar. And as you can see, you have hard drive, CD-ROM drive, network boot, and removal devices. We're just going to make sure that the uh, CD-ROM drive is right on the first one, so it actually boots from that first. I'm just going to hit F10 uh, to save and exit, and the PC will reboot, and we'll be able to get into it. And as you can see here, you're just going to have a little infographic that just says con boot. This is how you know it's working. You're going to see a few lines of text down there uh, that's completely normal. Uh, and then after that, it's just going to go right into the Windows. Uh, I'm just going to give this a second to boot up here. All right, and once that's booted up, you're still going to be uh, prompted for the password, but all you have to do is just click on that blue arrow, or you can just hit enter. As a, and as you can see here, it just went right into my uh, system. It didn't say I had the wrong password or anything like that. And what's great about this is when you restart your computer, and if you don't boot from that CD again, uh, you're, you're actually going to still have your password saved in there. This will come in handy, like I said, if you just need to get into your system really quick. If you maybe inherited your computer for somebody and you don't know the password to get in there, you can use this to actually get into the administrator account, hopefully, and just create another user account for yourself and just delete that administrator account uh, so you pretty much have a main control of the computer again. Uh, but this also just comes in handy, like I said, for if you want to pull any pranks on your friends uh, or something like that. So other than that, uh, this program works on all OSs ranging from Windows 2000 all the way up to Windows 7. If you are experiencing any issues with this, uh, feel free to leave a comment on this video or send me a message here on YouTube. And as always, I'm always look on the lookout for fresh ideas. Uh, if you have any questions, anything tech related, definitely leave me a message. I uh, even do a video response, something like that. I'm really starting to you know, look to kick off my channel and I just need to support my subscribers uh, to start doing that. Um, so other than that, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week on my next video.